Good evening. Today is Monday, September 27th, 2021. Thank you for joining us. Tonight on our broadcast, in a forum last week, Foundation Health Partners talked about the rise of the Delta variant and ensuring the best care for patients. Plus, days are getting shorter, nights are getting darker, and Alaska State Troopers are urging pedestrians and cyclists to be careful using the roads. Those stories and more, plus Julie Swisher will have your full weather forecast. I'm Alex Bengel, and this is News 13. Keeping our eye on the interior, News 13 starts right now. As COVID-19 cases continue to rise in the borough, Foundation Health Partners held a forum to inform the public on the impact that increase is having on the borough health care system. And as we'll see in this report by Richard Atkin, the Foundation Health's facilities are working to provide the best care possible for residents. COVID-19 cases continue to rise in Fairbanks as the Delta variant, which is more transmissible, continues to spread across the state of Alaska. Foundation Health Partners said in a press conference that they are seeing more COVID patients across the board, including the hospital and the urgent care clinic. At this point, there's a limit to what we can do in terms of health care. This is a disease right now that we require your help. We require interventions that go beyond our four walls. We are doing our best, um, but there is a limit to how much we can do and how many people we can care for. And so it is vaccination. It is masking. I know nobody wants to hear it. We're all tired of it too, um, but we really need everybody's help. FHP has also moved to contingency standards of care, which is an adaptable standard to ensure patients receive the best level of care possible. So contingency standards of care is when you change how you do things, you change where you do it, you may change who's doing it. You know, so the care looks different and it's happening in different places. And, and that's what we're doing today. And but at the end of the day, even though we're giving infusions in a lobby, um, even though we may have beds and a meeting room on two south, the care is ultimately we're still meeting standard of care. Jeff Cook, chairman of the board for Foundation Health Partners, also spoke on his personal experience on pandemics and his belief in the effectiveness of vaccines. I'm nearly 78 years old, born and raised in Fairbanks, been through various pandemics in the past, including uh, polio, including different flus, including mumps, measles, and other things I've had. I am so grateful for the science that produces vaccines that none of my children or grandchildren or most of the people watching and listening to this I've had to worry about smallpox or chickenpox or measles or mumps or polio. The, you know, it wasn't herd immunity that eliminated these diseases. It was the vaccines. This has been Richard Atkin reporting. Thanks, Richard. As temperatures drop and winter sets in, the days are getting shorter, and that increases certain risks for people outdoors. Alaska State Troopers are cautioning pedestrians and cyclists to, to be careful when using public roads in the dark. James Halbert is a trooper in Fairbanks and says that whenever possible, pedestrians should stay on sidewalks for safety. But if they have to use a road, they should wear reflective clothing or flashing LED lights. Halbert says this helps drivers to be able to see you and avoid hitting you. Make sure they're staying on the, the correct paths and sidewalks to do to, for movement and also to wear, wear reflective gear. Uh, in the darkness, it's hard to see people. Uh, wearing reflective gear at night or early morning can actually save your life. Halbert also encouraged drivers to be more alert of people using roadways and take extra precautions in intersections. <laughs> 